What's up guys, this is Joe and welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock and this time around we're picking things up here in episode 3 once again in Dr. Steinman's medical pavilion. Parasite has his eye on Rapture. Keep your eye on the Parasite. Alright, well that was a random little public announcement there. I wasn't expecting that, but yeah, this is actually where we want to go. We want to go to Dr. Steinman's Aesthetic Ideals, but unfortunately the entrance to that place got completely destroyed. The guys blew it up. I think it was a nitro splicer. He blew it up with one of his explosives, and now we're heading around trying to find the telekinesis uh, plasmid so that I can use it against him, use one of his own bombs to kill him, and then use the bombs to destroy all of the wreckage blocking the place that we need to get to. Whew, that was a mouthful, <laughs> but as we can see here, you can see some of uh, Dr. Steinman's great work. I mean, he just loves to, you know, take different pieces of people and patch them together on the a a same face. I mean, it's ridiculous. All right, I wouldn't want the guy doing my surgery, that's for sure, but we've got a little bit of an auto diary here, so let's go ahead and play that while I've got the chance. Nobody's coming to kill me. When Picasso became bored of painting people, he started representing them as cubes and other abstract forms. The world called him a genius. I've spent my entire surgical career creating the same tired shapes over and over again. The upturned nose, the cleft chin, the ample bosom. Wouldn't it be wonderful if I could do with a knife what that old Spaniard did with a brush? Another example of how insane Steinman is. Picasso worked with canvases. You're working with humans. You don't want to get all artsy and abstract when you're working with a human being's face, okay? The guy is ridiculous. Security camera. I can hear the infernal things all around you. Ryan, eyes and ears. Yeah, just as Atlas said, these are all over Rapture, these security cameras, and you have to be careful because if they spot you, they will trigger the alarm, and a bunch of those flying, oh, what were they, like the, um, the flying, uh, the machine gun turret, the flying ones, the, uh, I think they're called, like, security bots or something like that, they'll send, like, fleets of those after you, and you have to try to hide and evade, and it just costs a lot of health packs and a lot of ammo, unnecessary stuff, so the corpses, we can't do anything with it, but go ahead and cremate it, which is really dark, but we'll be getting an item for this, uh, but yeah, you have to watch out for these security cameras, you can usually just tell where they are, because they have this big, huge, obvious spotlight that goes back and forth, and that's how you can tell when there's a security camera, Atlas won't tell you all of the time, obviously, but apparently that body had a Hacker's Delight tonic in it. It's a new physical tonic, Hacker's Delight. With Hacker's Delight, your body converts the altered current from a hack machine into a powerful healing agent. Hack and heal. So basically it says here, if I hack things, I can, uh, well, it'll restore some of my even health, which is pretty cool. I've got two empty slots for tonics, so we'll go ahead and equip it, why not? Uh, basically tonics are just like, in addition to plasmids, things you, that you can equip to make your character you know, more beefed up and strong here in Rapture because you want to be the dominant guy around here. There's a lot of crazy people. And yeah, there's just all different types of tonics and they all have their own different abilities. It makes a, it gives a little bit of an RPG, you know, flair to Bioshock, which is really awesome. I really like it. Uh, but yeah, we can find, oh, whoa, what's all this? Who's cro- Who's that? Do you- Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh! Well, whatever, I wasn't gonna use the machine gun, but I accidentally, uh, switched to using it, so we'll go ahead and use it a little bit. And we'll head in here. The parasite wanders the halls. We rebuild our city, and the doubters sent a fly to spoil our own. One thousand Adam to the man or woman who pins its wings. Great, so Ryan just put a price on my head. Let's go ahead and pick up the incinerate plasma before things get crazy. Yeah, it's basically what you think. Incinerate, they'll explain it to you here, but it's what you think it is. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spreads. So basically, all it is is you can shoot fire from your fingertips. So let's go ahead and try it out here. Let's get the splicers going. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and light up that pile of gasoline. That's what that was. And we'll just fry all these guys with, who were Adam hungry. They were going to try to kill me so they could collect the reward. Oh, I didn't I didn't even realize that. So apparently Ryan releases pheromones that gets the it gets the splicers going all crazy and they want to listen to what he says. Why can't I just steal these? They're right in front of me. Come on, is it like glass protecting them? Whatever. I would love to have all those plasmids. Whatever though, we'll keep heading on 
through here. We've got the incinerate plasma now, but we want the telekinesis. Where are we going to find that? Well, we're going to find that outside of the... I forget what this place was called. The Eternal Flame, that's what it was called. Yeah, it's not in here. Then we're going to have to use the Incinerate Plasmid to get into this other little shop over there. It's frozen. The uh, entrance is frozen. That's where we have to find the Telekinesis uh, Plasmid. I keep wanting to say module. I don't know why. Making sure there's no splicers around. I can hear her. I thought I heard one. All right, whatever. If they're not... All right, I'm going. Whatever. I, I can't see him, so we're just going to go. Oh, whoa. I didn't even... I thought it was a girl coming after me. All right, my aim is horrible. Let's just go with the wrench. <laughs> There we go, saves ammo, and yeah, my aim is really bad right now. But we can get in here, what's this place called? It is called Twilight Fields Funeral Home. So we just went from a crematorium to a funeral home. This is just wonderful. And yeah, I'm being sarcastic, it's not, it's horrible. Alright, so let's go ahead and search around, I can hear somebody crying. I'm not even giving you the time of day, lady. I'm not, because I know you're just going to turn around and start swinging on me like you were just doing there. Alright, so now she's out of the way. Oh, some money under here. I've got a lot of money. I'm going to start using the uh, Circus of Value and Ammo Bandito machine because I've got plenty of money. i got to start using it. Is there anything in this? This is a really small casket, if that's what that's supposed to be. But... All right, is there anything? Oh, we've got a number here. 0451. And a Eve. It looks like Eve over here. Come on, let me get to it. I hate that when um when you try to you see an item and you want to get it, but it's just got a bunch of crap in the way. Can I seriously not get it? I'm going to try and... This is ridiculous. All right, there we go. Now I've got it. I was about to say, are you, are you trying to bait me or something? But 0451, you just want to use that right over here. Yeah, it's that close. Somebody really was trying to keep this uh, code hidden. You know, the door's right next to it. But you go ahead and put that in there. It'll open up the door, and it just opens up uh, basically like a weapons cache here. A few health items. Eve Hypo, an automatic hack tool. All right, that's exactly what it sounds like. We've got some double O bucks. We don't have that gun yet. We're uh, getting a little ahead of ourselves. But the automatic hack tool, you just use that and it automatically hacks whatever you want to hack so you don't have to go through the minigame. Any money in the register? Empty? Come on. Anything behind the... Oh, 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 okay. I was going to say anything behind the counter. No, there's just a corpse jammed up here under the counter. I don't know how that happened. Can you imagine that? Like going to Walmart or something? Be like just purchasing something over the counter. They give you a change. And then there's a corpse under the counter. That's just morbid. That's what I thought of anyway. Oof, all right, well, anyways, let's keep on moving through here. That's really ridiculous. Oh, whoa. Like Ooh, I hate that, man, when they pop out at you like that. Let's go ahead and do the good old stun and thwack. It still works. Got some money again. And yeah, there we go. We got any uh, money again? I'm definitely going to hack the machine and start spending money. I've got way too much. Not that that's a bad thing. Don't think I'm complaining. And that's locked. All right, we can't go through there, so we'll just go through this one. This should be open, all right? There we go. Now, the telekinesis module. I see I just called it a module. The telekinesis plasmid should be in here somewhere where's this liquid coming from underneath the body i don't want to know this is really just disturbing the imagery here this is supposed to be a medical clinic it, look how sanitary it is i mean i would totally come here no problem all right so there's a oh whoa all right i was gonna say there's a pool of water but they've got corpses floating around it's gonna say i want to be careful go ahead and unequip my electro bolt because i don't want to shock myself but maybe i can use the whoa I don't like that. I was going to say, maybe I can use the water against that guy. But now, he's gone. So, we're getting... You know what? We're getting Electro Bolt equipped. Just in case he decides to show up in the water, I'm going to zap him. I don't know where he went. He You guys saw the shadow. They cut the lights and now he's gone. It wasn't this lady. She's dead. Is this a telekinesis? Oh, security expert. Another tonic. This is an engineering tonic. Security expert. A new offering in the Hack Smart line. Security expert was designed by hackers specializing... In, disable, in disabling electronic security measures, you won't be secure without security expert. All right, fine. We've got some. Uh, we've got two engineering tonic slots. They're both empty, so might as well equip it. Right? Why not? All right, we've got some pistol rounds. I think that's it here. I'm, I thought the telekinesis uh, plasma was in here somewhere. Apparently not. Maybe I'll have to buy it from a uh, what's it called? The gar a gatherer's garden. I'm still kind of weary though about where that guy is. I mean. He was there a minute ago. I'm making sure I keep this out just in case. Oh, there he is. There he is. You, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. There we go. Zap him. There, that worked. I didn't even have to put him in the uh, the puddle at all. I was going to try to zap him in the water, but hey, he's weaker than I thought. I thought the maybe the, uh, you know, the the doctor, what are they what are they called? Thuggish splicer. Oh, he's just a regular thuggish sp uh, splicer. All right. Well, I thought the doctor version would have been maybe a little stronger, but whatever. All right. So I guess there's nothing in here. You can actually go ahead and check your objectives here along with the map. In the uh, the pause screen, it says for me, find telekinesis, but where can I get it? Atlas thinks that telekinesis is what you need to destroy. Well, yeah, we know. Some ads on the wall suggest you might be able to find it in Dandy Dental. All right, and Dandy Dental should be, I think it might be downstairs, actually. All right, so let's go ahead and try that. 
So there was nothing in here but an engineering tonic, man. I thought that's... Whoa. Whoa, what? She was, like, waiting right beside the door. There was nothing in there but an engineering tonic. I thought for sure that we would have found the telekinesis uh, plasma in there, but I guess not. All right, so there we go. Dandy dentures. We, we're looking for dandy dental. Is that right here? Yeah, dental. All right, so we actually did need... I was going to say, then why did I get the incinerate plasma? I know it's useful, but... I thought I needed it to, uh, you know, free up the entrance, but we do. So here we go. Let's go ahead and melt all of that. There's a audio diary there I'll pick up in a second. But I can hear some splicers. I think I see one, actually. Oh, yep. Yeah. Got to jump on him. He was going to try to throw something. Whoa, look at all these bandages. I'll go ahead and take that. That'll uh, save me a health kit or two. But I saw a Circus of Value machine back here. I'm actually going to go ahead and just hack it because I want to make some purchases. You know, we'll go use, use the auto hack. Why not? There you go. Make things a lot easier. All right, so let's go ahead and buy some stuff. I'll buy some machine gun rounds. I need a few. Then, oh, wow. They're still expensive. Dang, I thought I had more money than that. Well, we'll get a few health aids. First aid kits. Not health aids. What am I talking about? Uh, all right. That looks pretty good. I don't want to buy any vodka or anything like that. I don't really need that. All right. No, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm reduced to searching trash cans, but whatever. I don't care. All right. I want to get what I need to get. All right. So we've got a freezing pipes here. Let's go ahead and listen to it. Ocean water is colder than a witch's tip. You don't heat the pipes, the pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes burst. Then rapture leaks. Now, I realize you're a posh sort of geezer, and frankly, I don't give a toss if you piss or go fishing. But once rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. All right, I was about to say, I noticed that that little uh, door panel was over here when I got those pistol rounds, but yeah, apparently he's talking about rapture leaking. I can understand how that could be a serious issue, because the whole city's underwater. I wouldn't want it to leak either. Get off, lady. I'm not even going to use the pistol. I was thinking about using the pistol because I've got some more rounds for it, but yeah, we gotta, we're got we just going to stick with the wrench for now. I'm making sure I don't run out of ammo. Some potato chips, anything. There's never anything like really useful in these storage crates, man. Come on. And another, oh, an automatic hacking tool. I thought it was a uh, another audio diary there, but hey, there we go. We made up for the automatic hacking tool that I used. Let's go ahead and head to Dandy Dental. Apparently, the telekinesis uh, plasma is in here somewhere. What is this? Cure all? Can I go in there? Oh, the door actually opened. And there's a tonic there. Wrench jockey. Can't get it yet because it's got some glass in front of it. Whoa! All right. I thought I didn't see that coming. Oh, my gosh. Got like a missile launcher there. All right, I'm gonna try to run for this one. All right, here we go. Hopefully it doesn't hit me. Ooh, I made it, kind of. All right, get a health item. I'm not gonna risk it. Whoa, that didn't, dang, they're getting stronger. I don't know, I did the, uh, the shock and punch thing. I'm surprised that didn't work. Whoa, no, 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 I don't wanna get, oh man, I gotta hide from the security camera. Hope I hit it. It's still beeping, I think I evaded it. All right, good, Ooh, that was close. Where is it? Oh, there it is right there. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it, because I have to navigate this room. And I don't want to have to worry about security coming after me. Like I said, it can be a real pain in the neck. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Ooh, that was close, man. You gotta, like, rapid fire at the thing. Is that mach- Like, it's still shooting me? Where is it? Oh! That's not good. All right, that's not good. Let's go ahead and get this. I'll listen to that in a second, but we gotta go ahead and get rid of that. I'm gonna try to shock it and use some machine gun rounds on it. All right, here we go. Ready, ready? Come on. There we go. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. All right. This should make... Wow, that made quick work of it. All right, good. I was like, maybe I should hack it, but no. Forget that. I'm not even going to take the chance. It was really blowing me up there. All the health packs I bought out of the uh, Circus of Valley probably got used. All right, so now we can listen to the audio diary. Clinical trial, lot 44. Dr. Su Chong. Client, Fontaine Futuristics. Subject age, white man. One Roland Wallace. Can you hear me, Mr. Wallace? Yes, sir, Mr. Su Chong, sir. Right, I'm introducing Lot 44 now. We've called the name the Lot 44 Enrage because of its tendency to... That was really disturbing, man. We haven't met... It looked like that was a new character, Su Chong, there. Well, that's a, that's a great first uh, introduction there. That was really horrible. You could hear the guy screaming. 
I'll go ahead and... All right, we're going to try to do this one manually. We're going to try to hack this one by ourselves. Because I actually want to share some things that's been going on with me lately. I uh, recently, over the weekend... I've been pretty busy. But over the weekend, I had the chance to go to the movie theaters. And a friend and I saw this movie called... I think it was called The, uh, the Man with the Iron Fists. And it was pretty cool. It was a new Quentin uh, Tarantino movie. And I thought it was pretty cool. I liked it. I had a good time. I mean, there were some parts of it that were kind of silly. But overall, I mean, it was a good action movie. I mean, it was just mindless action... I mean, the plot wasn't that great, but it was a lot of fun. I don't know why. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I like Quentin Tarantino. I love the Kill Bill movies. I loved Inglorious Bastards. And, yeah, The Man with the Iron Fist was cool. I mean, I think he has another one coming out, a new movie coming out too. But, you know, this was kind of cool just to watch to get ready for that because, like I said, I like Quentin Tarantino. And we've got a hack successful here. Let's go ahead and see what's in the safe. We're going to get some big bucks, right? No, but we got some ammo. I mean, I'm not going to argue. It's pretty good. We've got 45 machine gun rounds, which is really awesome because... They're more expensive than I thought. I thought the I thought they were going to be cheap once I hacked that circus of value, but they weren't. Can I go ahead and knock that out? All right, cool. I didn't even I just caught this now. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, this should lead to the uh, the uh, the tonic. That's right. There it is, right there. All right, cool. I wasn't expecting to find the uh, the path here. I didn't really remember, but there you go. I caught it in the corner of my eye. I saw the grate there, and it worked out. So let's go ahead and see what tonic this is. Get some bandages. It is the wrench jockey. All right, wrench jockey bulks up your upper body, allowing you to. Wield club-like weapons with unprecedented skill and power. All right, so I guess it yeah increases uh, wrench damage, which is good because I've been using the wrench a hell of a lot. So that's good. All right, we'll keep on heading through here. Oh whoa! Yeah, dang man, the wrench chalky's awesome. She went down in one hit. I didn't even have to use the electro bolt on her. Wow, that was that's pretty awesome. All right, good, really useful tonic. They're probably the most useful one we've gotten yet. The other ones are okay, but the wrench chalky's like you know really practical. I use my wrench all the time. Is there anything else in here I can get? They've got first aid kits and... Well, I guess you can expect that. We are in the medical pavilion. But I'm still trying to find the telekinesis plasmid. It's got to be in Dandy Dental, right? That's what they said. All right, so this isn't Dandy Dental. This was like Cure All, I think. Yeah, all right. Let's keep on uh, searching. Whoa! Oh, I'll take that. No problem. All right, awesome. I feel like I just felt for like a trap or something. But yeah, we got the shotgun here. Let's go ahead and work it out. Good old Parge here for you guys who uh, know all the good old terms from back in the day. Let's see, come on guys, I'm ready for you. Oh, whoa, I didn't even see her. I'm over here saying I'm ready for you, and the lady got the jump on me. Oh man, come on, come on. Dang, did I get two with one shot? Oh, I thought I did. Alright, we're not gonna use all the ammo. Let's go, let's get some plasmids going here. There we go, that's the beauty of Bioshock. You can just switch between weapons and plasmids in a flash, and it makes the combat that much more awesome. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot willy-nilly with this thing, I don't care. I mean, the pistol rounds are cheap, especially when you hack the Herc uh, the Hercus, the Circus of Value. Ooh, that is gruesome, man, look at that. Both of those uh, scissors went right in the eyes, that's brutal. Alright, so there we go, that, we made quick work of them. I mean, they tried to bait me there at the shotgun, but I won, I took it, and made off with it. So there you go, take that, Splicers. Let's go ahead and look around here. I think I, Dandy Dental should be around here something, somewhere, the Vita Chamber. Haven't died yet, which is a good thing. There it is, Dandy Dental. All right, well, we go in there in a second. Whoa, is this it or is that it? Oh, well, I'm going to take this one because the entrance of this one looks a lot more elaborate. And it says Dandy Dental clearly. So let's go ahead and head in there. Oh, man. All right, we've got an audio diary. I'll go ahead and pick that up. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and listen to it. I want to go ahead and look in this little side supply room anyway. At the German prison camp, they put me to work on genetic experiments on other prisoners. They call me Das Wunderkind, the wonder child. Germans. All they can talk about is blue eyes and the shape of forehead. All I care about is why is this one born strong and that one weak? This one smart, that one stupid. All that killing. You think the Germans could have been interested in something useful? All right, we got another audio log there from Tenenbaum. I tried to get to the supply room, but that didn't work out. And then I go, oh, let me go and check this out. And there's a freaking turd in there, so forget it. We're just going to head straight to Dandy Dental. But I'm assuming the German, she's talking about the Nazis, because this is this game doesn't take place that much long after uh, World War II, so kind of cool there, a little reference. Pistol rounds, anything? Oh, Old Tom Whiskey. Yeah, I'm not going to drink that. I'm pretty sure that's detrimental to your health. Some re Oh, wow, the register actually had money? Are you kidding? I mean, every other register I've searched seems to be empty. All right, I think the telekinesis uh, plasma has to be here. We're in Dandy Dental. It's got to be here somewhere. And every time I'm around a pool of water, like I said earlier in the episode, I get a little nervous because I'm like, am I going to have to shock people? Am I going to have to fry people in this water? I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Imagine if, imagine if instead of, like, the plasmid like this, they gave you, like, I don't know, some type of attack where you, like, had toasters and you could throw toasters in the water. 
It's it's stupid, I know, but I don't know. That just came into my head out of nowhere. That'd be ridiculous. Oh, a huge... I'm guessing that's explosive. Alright, we're gonna stay away from that. Let's go ahead and head in here. Got an audio diary I can see there. And I'm trying to be careful. Is that a, is that a machine gun? Take that! Oh, I don't... Well, it's not shooting. Alright, so fine. We don't have to worry about it. Testing telekinesis. Is it here? Oh, there it is! Finally! Alright, pick up big stuff with your mind. Throw them at your enemies. What else do you need to know? Exactly. Telekinesis. Which is what we've been looking for. Oh, man, I don't have an extra slot. Hmm, what do I want to replace it with? I'm going to go ahead and replace Incinerate. I'm sorry, I just needed that to get into these plays. Throw objects at foes. You can even catch grenades and throw them back. Exactly. That's what we want to do, is to catch grenades and throw them back, literally. All right, so let me go ahead and refresh my memory here with the controls. You can grab objects, release it to throw them, or press X to drop and hold it to catch. All right, good, we got this. I'll go ahead and... Oh, the ball... Oh, so this is a ball launcher. Oh, I'm over here thinking it's going to launch missiles at me. Let's go ahead and try telekinesis out. There we go. We throw it right back at it. All right, cool. Telekin testing telekinesis. We'll go ahead and give it a listen, you know, just for the sake of it. Why can't I, I'm like, why can't I make it out of this window? Look, it's like open and I have space on both sides. Whatever. All right, so we'll go ahead and head over here. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a splicer right there. Man, I love the wrench jockey. That's an awesome tonic. It like, like I said, it's really useful because I use the wrench all the time. But now we've got the telekinesis plasmid, so we can go ahead and use that to gain access to Steinman's office. And yeah, we can even use it to do things like this, where you take this, and there's a splicer over there. I don't see any right now, so I'll just go ahead and show you how awesome telekinesis is. And you just throw it, and it will explode. Yeah, you can do that with all types of things in the environment. Like that um, that machine that was launching missiles at me, I can just catch it, throw it right back at it, throw it at any enemies attacking me. It is an awesome plasma, and I love telekinesis. Uh, but yeah, before we get any further into things, though, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here, because I completed the main objective. I just wanted to get telekinesis this episode. So yes, we're going to be ending the episode here, but next time, we're going to be breaking into Steinman's office and having a chat with a nice doctor to see what's going on in this madhouse that he calls the medical pavilion so i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode don't worry there won't be that big of a gap between this and the next one had a lot of things going on this week but i'm not going to drag you down with that so i hope you guys have enjoyed episode three of let's play bioshock and i can't wait to see you back next time in episode four thanks for watching guys